Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month, Microsoft started rolling out the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update, which they were pushing out to devices using Windows Update, and that was on a controlled, phased, staggered rollout, so not everybody would see the device straight away at the get-go, and if you did, it would appear, and will appear, in this section on your Windows Update page as an optional feature update. Now, you could try and seek and check for updates if you weren't seeing the feature update, which could, in some cases, help speeding up the process to get that update um, down onto your Windows Update page. And um, in this regard, regarding the rollout of the feature update, Microsoft has recently updated their known issues documentation to say that the feature update, Windows 11 version 22H2, is now becoming more widely available. So if we just head over to that announcement, which was posted on the 4th of October, which was yesterday in my region, Microsoft announces here, they say, we are entering a new phase. So they're calling this a new phase of the rollout for Windows 11 version 22H2, and we are increasing its availability to all who check for updates. So if you haven't been seeing the update, go try and seek now and check for updates on a more regular basis, and you could be in luck, and that update could be rolling out to your system now sooner than later. Now, just take note, and they say here that if we detect that your device might have an issue, such as an application incompatibility, we might put a safeguard hold in place and not offer the update until that issue is resolved. Now, I have been posting on this over the last week or so, a couple of weeks since the feature update did roll out, where there are some compatibility holds in place for some devices. And um, yeah, listed on their known issues was one of them, and this is in no particular order, where there were uh, specific printer issues where some installed printers might only allow default settings. So that's one of the compatibility holds that might be in place while you're not seeing the update appear on your Windows Update page. Another one was regarding Intel SST audio drivers, um, which is an, 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 another com, um, compatibility hold. And then as I posted just yesterday, um, a Windows 11 version 22H2 um, copying files remotely over a network can basically be 40% slower um, than in version 21H2. And those are a couple of the compatibility safeguard holds that Microsoft has in place currently. And uh, um, that might be a reason why you're not seeing the update appear on your Windows Update page. And I will leave links to all those videos I did post um, regarding those compatibility holds in the description in case um, you would like some more information on those safeguard holds. Now, if um, you are still not seeing the update, even though it's becoming more widely available, and that's after checking and seeking for updates, you can manually update and force the update onto your system. Now, I don't recommend this, and nor does Microsoft, but if we head to the download Windows 11 page, there are three different options available that you can use to manually download and update your system, which is basically force, force updating your device. And the first is the Windows 11 installation assistant, the upgrade assistant, the media creation tool, and you can also use a ISO disk image file. Now, I use the Windows 11 installation assistant because I wasn't seeing the update rolling out on my device um, straight away at the get-go when it was released. And although I don't recommend it, I did use the installation assistant, which I would say is the, is the next best op option. And that's because, as I've mentioned previously, I wanted to get videos out for the purposes of this channel and I needed to update so I could post videos regarding Windows 11 version 22H2. But nonetheless, just wanted to update you. If you haven't got an, a compatibility hold, um, as Microsoft says, they are increasing the feature updates availability. So if you're not seeing the update, just go and check for updates. And as I say, you might see that now roll out to your device sooner than later. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.